Hi, I'm James Smythe, Technical Director of SuperGuard, and I'm here to demonstrate our heat-resistant polymer treatment. Our treatment is made up of two different stages. We have our chemical pre-clean and we have our polymer sealant. Now, our chemical pre-clean itself will be applied on with the grey sponge here. Now, what we always do in these circumstances is we start from the bonnet of the car itself and we work our way around it. So, taking the lid off the product itself, You break the seal on it and then just apply right onto the sponge itself, a small portion, and just wipe it directly onto the paintwork itself. And what this actually does is this will remove any of our sealants off the surface as well as any other types of waxes or other coatings on it. Now, as you see, demonstrating on the car today, the product dries in very, very quickly. So what we'd always recommend as well, if you are treating the car in quite a warm country, we'd recommend that the car is brought into the shade first and try and cool the car down itself. Sometimes what we do is we wash the car to try and cool it down first, then sham it dry, then apply the pre-clean to the surface of the paintwork itself. Now, again, what we do is we just continue on working our way around the car itself. And again, what we'd also recommend in this sort of product is we'd use go right across the black rubbers of the car as well and the black plastics. So again, just to demonstrate. Now, if you're working on it yourself, we would recommend that you do two or three panels and then wipe it back off. If you're working with a team member, then the team member can follow you around the car, removing any of the extra chemicals back off the surface itself. So again, just a clean microfiber cloth, going over all the surfaces, removing any excess that has been left on with the pre-clean itself. And lastly, we'll just finish off with the roof itself. On this particular model here, we've got a glass sunroof so what we'd always recommend is just do the actual plastics of the car itself. So again, using your pre-clean, just gently wipe around the plastic area of the roof itself. So that's stage one finished. Now, <clears throat> as you'll see on the cloth itself, even though this is a clean, spotless, clean car, the amount of bacteria and dirt that gathers on top of the sponge just tells you how important it is to do the pre-clean first of all. Now we're going to stage two, which is our polymer treatment. Uh, if you just remove the top part of the sachet itself and then pour a small amount onto the sponge applicator and just apply it directly onto the surface of the car. Now it's very, very important when you apply this product not to let it touch the, the plastics of the car itself. And again, when it comes to the application of a polymer, especially heat resistant polymer, as we recommend that the car itself paintwork is cool before you apply these type of technologies on top of the surface. As you work your way around the car, just t keep topping up the polymer so you have allow enough coating across all the surfaces. And again, we can stress again that on certainly in hot countries where the temperature is very high, it doesn't require a lot of polymer to go onto the surface itself. And again, you can put the product onto the chrome as well. And then just finish off again with the roof. And on this particular roof, as we said earlier on, this is half glass, so we would just be putting the polymer itself onto the, the painted plastic part of the roof. Again, avoiding the black plastics to stop any white marks appearing. Not forgetting, obviously, mirrors 
on the outside. And of course the door pillars. And once the car is fully coated, you just leave to dry. So once you go back to the car, you'll see that the polymer has dried in now. Uh, you'll see it kind of dries to kind of white haze of the car. Again, you've got two microfiber cloths left and just remove it back off. There's two ways of removing it off. Obviously, it's just simply just rub it with your cloth like this. But if you find it in a very warm temperature that it's difficult to remove, what we'd also recommend is a damp microfiber cloth. So a couple of droplets of water under your microfiber cloth, and then again, just remove it back off the surface easily. And how you know the, the polymer sort of dried in properly is it should just easily glide off of the microfiber cloth itself. If it feels a little bit sticky, it maybe needs just a wee bit longer to remove the product from the surface itself. And again, in this example here, I'm using two different microfiber cloths, one just to wipe off the one part and then just finish off a nice polish. And again, when it comes to the removal of the products, what we always recommend is turn the cloths. So turn them onto squares, so turn them around again, get a nice clean surface, and then again just wipe the residue of polymer back off the surface itself. So if you continue this same process all the way around the car, removing all the residue of the polymer back off the surface. So after you finish off the last panel, it reveals a high gloss showroom finish.